Remote archiving is now available on Yester P-Service PBX, which means you can download and archive recordings and backup files to external servers via FTP and SFTP. In the meantime, archive to cloud platforms including Amazon S3 and Google Cloud Storage is also supported. In this video, we will take FTP as an example to explain how to realize remote archiving with Yester. Of course, if you want to see that on Amazon S3 and Google Cloud Storage, let us know in the comments. And we will make a video tutorial as soon as possible. And as always, if you prefer a manual, it's in the video description. Check with the link. All right, let's go through how to set up the FTP remote archive. First of all, please ensure that you have upgraded your P-Service PBX to the latest version and subscribe and listed to the enterprise plan. Now we need to prepare our FTP server. Note down the network information, file transfer protocol, as well as the FTP account username and password with both read and write permissions. After all these, we can add an FTP server as an archive server in our PBX. Log in to the admin interface of Yester P-Service PBX. Go to System, then find Archive. In the Archive task, here we can set up the archive server. First of all, name the server however we prefer. Then go for FTP and server type. And here we need to correctly put all the info we get from the last step. When it's all down, click on Save. Now we have pointed the FTP server to the PBX archive server list. We can go and check it out. Now we can create a task to archive files from PBX to the FTP server. Now in Archive task, click on Add. We can choose to set the task a name, and then specify the file type for this task. Here we go for recording files. And in time, we can define the time range for archive to files. The max of time is 31 days. If we set it like this, it means for this task, the PBX will archive the call recording of the last 31 days. Then we can define if this is a one-time task or a recurring one. Select the FTP server that we have added. Here we can specify the vote and path for archived files. We can surely leave it blank and let the file go with the default path. Now we have the task created. We can go to archival logs to check all the archive results on PBX. Of course, we can log into our FTP server and check if the files are there. So, that was how we used the remote archiving on the P-Service PBX. Hope you guys like it, and don't forget to subscribe. By the way, free trial is always available in the description.